All right, today I'm back on the uh, 2012 Mercedes uh, S550 W221. And my plan for today is uh, I got this up on the hoist a little way so I can uh, work for my chair. Uh, what I've got is a pain in the butt uh, item, and that is my Illinois I-Pass. And this attaches to your windshield and actually goes uh, somewhere near your mirror and uh, i got a couple velcro tabs that you put it on your windshield and this works good on my uh, ford explorer works good on the uh, ford f-150 this one i took out of the f-150 i was swapping it between the f-150 and the mercedes uh, but the problem is the mercedes comes with this really cool windshield uh, to protect you from iv ozone whatever it's protecting you from and this will not work through the windshield now, Mercedes, in their infinite wisdom, they put a couple of spots on the windshield. Uh, one of them is about this big, which should be big enough for this. And uh, you can just barely see it uh, when you're sitting in the car. It's just to the left of the mirror that this is supposed to work through. And it has worked once or twice. I'm going to say nine times out of ten, it will not work. Uh, well, I got a freaking mess because I can't use it on the Mercedes. But what I pass in their infinite wisdom, and I suppose that some of these other places do, uh, is they uh, make a, a sensor for your front bumper or for your license plate holder. So I thought, what the heck, I'm going to give this a try. Um, it doesn't really cost anything. There's a deposit that they charge you for this, and they charge you as you use it. If you return it, you get your deposit back, so it doesn't really cost you anything. Uh, I did look in the trunk of my car, and look what I found. Yeah, isn't that wild? So I'm going to try and figure out what to do to get this thing mounted on here. We can open this thing up real quick. Ooh, it's a nice uh, stylish black color. Your new iPass trans transponder is active and ready to use. So anyway, the trick is to try and get this thing mounted on here. And hopefully it's going to be, be red. i got to figure out what to do. I really don't want to put... Uh, this on here and kind of mess up the the lines of the car and this is supposed to be up so this is supposed to attach with these two holes that actually line up with these two holes here on the, on the top but of course it's not flat so i'm going to give this a little thought on how i'm going to attach it where i'm going to attach it one thought right now is just to attach it to this somehow get that wired up there hopefully it doesn't rattle too much and pray to god that uh that this isn't too far underneath here to block the radio signal or whatever kind of uh, radio electronic signal that's trying to go up to the uh the sensor at the top of the toll booth and maybe try that a couple times to see how it works wish me luck don't mind the painter's tape that's from another uh, project that i'm uh, videotaping uh, given that some thought, I think what I'm going to do, because I can't, I can get to underneath behind this grill. Uh, there's a uh, a panel here. It's probably got about uh, 10 or 12 screws in it. Uh, but I think what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to take some uh, like some rubber heater hose uh, to make some spacers to put behind here on each side. I'm going to drill a couple extra little holes in here so I can loop some wire through it. And I'm hoping that rubber hose is going to stabilize this a little bit so when I draw it tight with the wire that it's not going to move around. And uh, i got to try and hold it up a little bit. All right, I found some uh, 3 8 old 3 8 uh, fuel line. That's so big enough to stay, uh, stay behind the holes. I think I might cut off a couple more pieces of rubber hose. I'm going to run the wire up through here. So I've got a little piece there. Got a little spool of wire. I'm not sure if this is uh, stainless. It looks like it's getting a little bit of stain on it. It's been.
Right, those are the holes I'm going to go through. Right, those. Up is up. Oh, forgot my uh, rubber spacers. Well, that's on there pretty good. Silver wires are covered up. The spacers are a little loose. Could have made them a little bit longer. All that's left now is to uh, give it a test, which means I gotta drive it on the toll road. So in a week or so, I'll uh, gonna head to uh, Indiana, get on the Indiana toll road, and we'll see if it works. So thanks for watching. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna do anybody any good, but. Uh, I'll give an, give an update on how well this works. I might leave it in the description in a few weeks uh, when I get this thing updated. All right. See ya.